Hello, we're the Geronimo Perino family. We're coming to you from the Bronx, and we're happy to share with you today Sopa de Uyama. That's a kibasha squash, a winter squash soup. So for this recipe, you'll need about four ajicitos. They're not spicy at all. One head of garlic, one carrot, one celery stick, two small potatoes, a couple of fideos, it's like a pasta product, dry oregano leaves, some chicken bouillon, one Japanese squash or winter squash, a little bit of adobo, two limes, and one bunch of cilantro. It's actually a vegetarian dish, but the chicken is totally optional. First we start with the star of the show, the winter squash, Aoyama. You wanna grab like a spoon or something and just kind of scoop the seeds out. All right, cool. You wanna kind of place the Aoyama at a steady angle where it has a flat surface. And then you just kind of shave at the skin with your knife. You gonna cut? Start cutting strips, which we're gonna then dice. About an inch. After you have cleaned the Aoyama or the squash, at this point, you want to wash your chicken and go in right into the marinating process. Preferably want to use chicken wing ads. You don't want to use white meat for this. It doesn't have enough flavor in it. Three garlic cloves to be exact and four uh, ajicitos or Dominican spice peppers. Beautiful. A quarter cup of water. Just blend them all together. All right, so you wanna go right over your wings with it. You wanna take lime juice. I would say about a half a lime. And at this point is where we use the other star of the show, the dry oregano leaves. What you wanna do is actually grind it with your hands as my family did for traditions, and it'll release all this aroma that has been packing there instantly. A little bit of adobo, about a half a tablespoon for one pound of chicken. So once we're at this point, we can mix in the spices with the chicken, and let everything get happy in there. And you can actually smell the aroma coming out of these already. Turn a pot on, let it get semi-warm for like a minute, and just go in with your marinated chicken. And then over it, you pour your squash. You wanna help Daddy? We already did the carrot, so we just have the Thank potatoes. you. About two small potatoes is more than plenty. Once you cut them up, they really do yield a pretty nice amount. So I'm adding a quarter bunch of cilantro right in there to tenderize with the squash and the chicken. Dicing the potatoes, you want about one square inch. Now we're gonna cut some celery. Lengthwise is good. Little horseshoe shapes. Carrots, doesn't have to be diced. And take these ingredients, just go right into the pot with them. Oh, it just reminds me of those lazy mornings where mom would just wake you up with the nice aroma of the peppers and that cilantro cooking, and you would automatically know mom's making her famous soup again. So you go in there with about six cups of water. You want the vegetables to be submerged when you're done adding your water. We always love when mom made this with a little side of white rice. It's very simple. You only need water, salt, and oil. If you measure it, you don't get perfect rice. His technique, it works exactly every single time. And I promise you, every single time, 17 minutes, you open <laughs> it, and it's fluffy, and it's perfect. <laughs> Good, remember. <laughs> what you're looking for the taste of the beach, of the ocean, that's about how much salt you want. 
at this point, you can go right in with your rice. Right now, it's freshly in. It looks like rice right out of the bag. In about three minutes, we're gonna look at it again and you're gonna see that the surface of it has become a little more glutinous. This is why at this point, we're gonna remove pretty much that much water and you're gonna have perfect rice. And letting it just kinda ooze out a little bit. Cover it and let it go for 17 minutes on low. Take a fork and just kinda go through the edges like that and fluff it up. All the flavors in the soup are starting to marry and combine. I wish you guys can smell how good that aroma is. To kind of mash these into the side of the pot as much as you can. I mean, you're not gonna get every single one. So at this point, you add your noodle and your bouillon cube. This much is more than enough. Like really, a little bit goes a long way. So you just kind of crush it in your hand and just let it drop. And then you can take your soup and serve it and these uh, nice little bows, just like the one mom and grandma love to keep around for when they had their guests. And it just tastes so fresh and so natural. <laughs>